Uh, what, what do you think it takes from a mindset perspective for a high school athlete to be able to achieve what you're realizing now in your journey? Uh, I'm saying you just like you just need a strong mind. Like if you know you have to like the, to get the uh, as necessary, like that is needed, then you know you crack out your schoolwork, you crack out like studying, you do a test good, like do all that blah blah blah. Like if you're like a strong willed mind minded guy, like you know that's what it takes. Cause like it's good if you like work on field work, you know you're the best player, but. If your academics aren't there, then you won't even be uh, able to play at the collegiate level. So, making sure you like put academics first, uh, get that done with, and then you can deal with like the rest after. I feel like that's the type of mindset it takes. You know, I, I, I've been impressed with uh, your academic uh, accomplishments because uh, I don't know if you realize this, but uh, the way they rate school systems in the U.S. Uh, Typically, um, at least recently, Mississippi, the state of Mississippi is usually at the bottom of the barrel with regards to some of the school ratings as far as their school systems. And right above Mississippi is the state of Hawaii. Uh, but somehow, uh, even with that information, you were still able to achieve academically. Tell me how, how that happened for you to be in school systems like Hawaii who no, I'm not saying that the kids over there are not intelligent. I'm just saying system-wise, they don't have the highest rating. Yeah. But you, you know, Mabuana, uh, your sister, uh, Bueti, uh, all college graduates. Your brother uh, is going to be a college graduate. How, how did you guys overcome some of those challenges, even though systemically you guys were in, um, in an environment that wasn't rated so high nationally? Um, for me, I can say like the reason why I stuck towards like going down the education path, like having like good academics, is because like the, my foundation is my father. Like him and my like him and my mom would always like push for like you know getting the best grades you can, like doing your best like in academics. And I guess like because of that foundation that I had, it made me do stuff that uh, you know other people weren't doing, like. It was like a lot like uh it's like stereotype that uh the people from Hawaii are like not as smart. So like me and my me and my siblings didn't want to like fall into that. So like we we didn't want to be just like another uh another uh, uh, statistic. So we just wanted to like you know create our own path, get away from like the what's conceived to be the norm in Hawaii. So you know it's mainly mainly my my father and my my mom that that just like pushed for education.